Tonight, we are learning more about 29-year-old Adrian Baeza, one of the nine employees killed in that shooting. Crown Force Dan Thorne talked with Baeza's brother, and Dan joins us now live from San Jose with their story. Dan. Well, Catherine and Ken, we're actually learning tonight about more acts of heroism by the victims on that tragic day. Baez's brother, who is also a VTA employee, says that his brother Adrian is his guardian angel and saved his life through a phone call. He saved my life and he saved his friends. 29-year-old Adrian Baeza is remembered by his brother Juan as a hero. Adrian warned him to not go to work at the VTA light rail facility last Wednesday morning as a gunman opened fire. It was about 6.35 when my phone rang and he told me not to come to the yard. And I asked him why. He says because he heard gunshots outside the building. Confused as to what was happening, Juan remained on the line with his brother, anxiously awaiting to learn more. Adrian then went silent. Then after a couple of minutes, I heard uh, gunshots coming from where he was, close by his phone. So I tried to get him to answer me, and he wasn't answering. Then I heard some more gunshots. Baeza later learned his younger brother Adrian and two other VTA employees, Paul McGeehan and Taptej Deep Singh, were warning their co-workers to get to safety. All three were shot and killed. Juan painfully listened as Adrian took his final breaths over the phone. He was selfless, man, in that, in that act. He sacrificed himself to save others. Baeza, a VTA maintenance worker, says he did not know the shooter, 57-year-old Samuel Cassidy, but he's angered by what Cassidy did to his brother and eight others. He took my best friend from me. He took my brother. He took my blood. Adrian leaves behind a wife and a two-year-old son and a family with aching hearts. But for Juan, his brother leaves behind a legacy of courage. He demonstrated a lot of bravery that day. I just want my brother to be remembered. Well, Baez's friends also remember him as somebody who had a smile that can light up a room. And if you're interested in helping out these victims' families, you can go to Working Partnerships USA. They are right now accepting donations. You could find out more information about that over on their website. Reporting live in San Jose, Dan Thorne, Cron 4 News. Dan